Hey everyone, Matt here from VapeRev. In today's EDU video, I'm going to be talking about a topic that's often neglected but highly important, which is battery safety. So today I'm going to be focusing on the AWIMR batteries and the Ego C Twist, which are the two most common batteries used in the vaping community. So here we go. So first for the AW batteries, now anytime you're about to use a vape for the first time, you want to do a little bit of a visual inspection. So starting with the battery, you want to ensure that there's no dents, damage, or corrosion. Take a look at your negative and your positive posts and make sure there's no oxidation or corrosion. Also you want to make sure that if your battery is expanding, you discard it and don't use it. Um, also this red protective sleeve right here, if that's torn and there's any metal exposed underneath that, you don't want to use the battery, it's defective. So before putting a battery into a device, no matter what device you're using, if it has a removable battery, you just want to give it a brief inspection. So take a look at the battery tube. Just peek inside and make sure no juice has dripped down into it. Also make sure there's no corrosion or oxidation. And then you want to take a look at your contacts. Just take a look and make sure that the contact's clean and also there's no corrosion or oxidation. The same with your negative contact, just do the same thing. A good example of what an oxidized contact looks like is right here. You can see it's kind of brown and dirty. You just want to prevent it from looking like that. After you check out the device, you want to inspect the atomizer. Just ensure that it's assembled properly and also take a glance at that contact and make sure it's free of juice and also doesn't have any corrosion or oxidation. In order to safely store these batteries, it's highly recommended that you use a battery storage case like this. If one of these isn't available to you, keep the batteries separated at all times and away from all types of metal like loose change and keys. If the batteries do come in contact with metal, a surge in power will happen and it can cause dangerous results. All the chargers used for these types of batteries are called smart chargers and what that essentially means is that it's charging the battery up until it's fully charged and then after that, it uses a trickle charge to test to see if the battery is still present. We don't recommend leaving the battery on the charger after it's fully charged just to prevent any sort of malfunction. A couple little pointers with the AW batteries. Uh, fully charged, they're going to carry a voltage of 4.2 volts. You don't want to drain them to below 3.3 volts. It's going to shorten the overall lifespan of the battery and if you overdrain it too much, it will just not carry a charge at all. Also, if you're storing the battery for a lengthy period, don't store them fully charged. You want to drain them to about 3.6, 3.7 volts, and that's a safe voltage to store the batteries at. If you're using a rebuildable atomizer, ensure that the battery you're using with your device is capable of handling the resistance that your atomizer is built to. Vaporev doesn't recommend using sub-ohm coils because they can overload and overdrain the battery you're using. Next is ventilation. Any device that you're using with a removable battery has vent holes in the actual device itself. This particular mod has vent holes on the bottom, so just make sure those vent holes are wide open so that your battery doesn't overheat. So now for a little bit of troubleshooting. If you press the button on your device and your atomizer isn't firing, don't continue to hold the button down. You're going to want to detach your atomizer from your device and inspect it to see what's preventing your setup from working properly. Once you've determined that the problem isn't because of a lack of contact or a short in the atomizer coil you've built, you're going to need to completely disassemble your device. Worn out contacts or isolators and in rare cases a faulty switch can cause a short to happen and this will cause your battery tube or your switch to become warmer and in some cases extremely hot with use. You're going to want to inspect it and find the source of the problem and correct it before inserting a battery and attempting to use the device again. So now on to the Ego. So before using your Ego C Twist, just give it a quick inspection. A couple things to look out for, just make sure that your positive contact is clean and there's no corrosion or juice on it. Also make sure that your battery isn't expanding at any point. Vaporev only recommends using the charger that comes with the Ego Kit. It's not recommended that you use the USB cable by itself. You don't want to use it with a computer or a car charging port or an iPhone charger, anything like that. It can cause a surge in power and can result in dangerous consequences. 
So for a little bit of maintenance on the Ego Twist, I usually like to clean out my contact about once a week or so. So just use a Q-tip and a little bit of alcohol and then just clean out that positive contact, get any juice or dirt that's gotten into there to prevent any malfunctions. One other thing to keep in mind is to never over tighten your Ego Twist onto your cardamizer or atomizer just to prevent the connection from being damaged. Now if the button sticks and your light's going off and your atomizer's firing continuously, the Ego does have a safety measure which prevents it from firing after 10 seconds. Also if it is stuck just give the button a little wiggle and it should pop out. So a couple tips about batteries in general, lithium ion batteries do harness a lot of energy so just be cautious with them. Keep them away from all heat sources so don't leave them in your car on a hot summer's day. Also take them off the charging supply as soon as they're fully charged and also power down your device when you're not using it or carrying it in your pocket. Alright everyone, so that's a wrap on this week's EDU video on battery safety. If you're experiencing any problems or you have any questions regarding battery safety, feel free to contact us at vaporev.com.